I swear, y'all. Lori Alexander has now blamed working mothers for more shit than boomers have blamed millennials for. So for those of you unfamiliar with my arch nemesis, Lori Alexander is the illegitimate love child of the Scarecrow and the Wicked Witch of the West. She blogs under the name The Transformed Wife, and the name just leaves me wishing her Decepticon ass would fuck off back to Cybertron. Her whole shtick is saying impossibly sexist shit about how being barefoot and pregnant is better than it sounds. And according to Lori, virtually all of the world's problems are caused by women working or, even worse, getting educated. And the latest societal ill that she laid at the feet of uppity ladies, that's going to be obesity. She starts off pining for the good old 50s and 60s, back before everybody got fat. And then all of the women started working and getting educated, and they weren't home to cook healthy meals for their children anymore. Damn feminist. But don't worry. Lori's not going to bring you problems with no solutions, so she wraps up the post by explaining that obesity shouldn't be an issue if you're sufficiently Christian, which is great, because God knows that overweight kids didn't have enough bullshit to worry about without their fucking parents being told it's because of their impiety. (sighs) But the stories just get worse from there. Apparently, Heath is out of Ohio for all of two days, and things are already falling apart there. Last week, their state legislature introduced House Bill 480, an abortion ban modeled after the one in Texas, but even worse. It has the same sue people for their medical procedure structures designed to insulate it from a court challenge, but it does away with that wishy-washy heartbeat requirement. It just bans all abortion altogether, heartbeat or no. And look, I can remember a time not that long ago when we could just laugh off shit like this. It's a law that forbids a right that's constitutionally protected and has been upheld over and over again by the Supreme Court. On top of that, its very framework makes a mockery of the whole concept of judicial review. In any sane world, this would be a story about those wacky nutters in the Ohio State House beating their heads against the wall. But any illusion that this world was sane dried up long ago. And look, I try not to make this segment too heavy because, believe it or not, it's super easy for a weekly segment about misogyny to get depressing. And it's for that reason that I'm not loading every week up with stories out of Afghanistan. Since the American withdrawal and the Taliban takeover, things have gone to shit quick for the country's 14 million women. And despite the terror that they're facing, a lot of really brave activists are still fighting for the hope of equality. Well, on Monday... I saw my first story about one of those brave activists turning up dead. A 30-year-old lecturer named Frazan Safi. According to her sister, quote, there were bullet wounds all over, too many to count, on her head, heart, chest, kidneys, and legs, end quote. This is just one of those things I don't want to slide underneath your news radar. This shit is happening. So with apologies for the heavy clothes, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.